Hello, welcome to Jibrin Angle on Oweleke TV. Today, we are actually having the gospel segment of Jibrin Angle. I'm sorry, this is, uh, we had a break, a very long break um, due to um, our man of God. He's been very, very extremely busy traveling from one place to the other, um, busy doing the carrying out the work of, work of God. So I decided to give him some slack um, so that um, he will ha have a, a, a focus on his primary assignment. And wow. so, so he is back on board. Even today, he's still on mission field. He had to actually go out of his way to um, to come on board uh, this show. So, uh, so we are sorry that uh, we've not been bringing you the gospel edition of Jibrin Angu. I think we are back back on board again and um, we hope that uh, God will continue to speak with us as always um, so man of God we thank you so very much for joining us once again out of your very very busy schedule um, you're welcome back thank you very much it's a pleasure to be back I've really missed the show <laughs> yeah that's so, it um, the show back. and the audience definitely yeah. missed you well, yeah. um, so thank you so very much, audience, um, viewers. Um, again, this is Jibrin Angle, um, on Oweleke TV. Today, we shall be discussing about the last discussion, the last topic we had was about Stephen, right? Yes, we, we yeah, talked, we discussed yeah, yeah. the life of Stephen, and uh, <clears throat> we we benefited. Oh. God spoke to us, um. Um, on on the issue on all everything all the virtues around around Stephen we learned so many lessons and uh, God revelations from the life of Stephen today we shall continue um, on the life of David David I think um, I I consider him one of the most if not the most popular prophets in the Bible because he wrote he. he he, of course, he wrote uh, very, very. Um, I think the majority of the Book of Psalms, sort of. So, it's a very popular prophet, and um, he is um, in the lineage of our Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, he is the person that um, people always refer to as the father of Jesus uh, when they say um, "son of David," right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We refer to Jesus as the son of David. So he is a very honorable prophet of God and the king, uh, for that matter. That is what we shall be talking about um, today with um, a man. The man of God will actually be dissecting, will give us um, an in-depth dissection of the life uh, of David. So we shall be learning lessons. We shall be receiving revelations. We shall be receiving uh, tutorials. Uh, we shall be receiving guidance from um, from the ministration today. Um, again, um, we have Apostle, the, our regular guest here. Yeah, I don't I no longer refer to him as a guest. He, he seemed to be, you can imagine, um, when he, he became too busy uh, and the, the show went off air. And so he, he's, uh, he has time for us now and the show is back. So it means that um, he is a co co host of this of this program. That is the implication. So um, once again, his name is Apostle Indifreke Imo, um, an apostle, um, a missionary of the Most High God. Man of God, thank you for, once again for joining us. Thank you very much for having yes. me here once again. Yeah. Let's go. Let's delve into it um, immediately. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. man of God, please, can you um, start with summarizing, probably telling us about the person of uh, David? Yeah. Uh, praise God. Um, uh, once again, viewers, you are welcome. It's wonderful to be here again. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I know as we, we must have learned so much in the previous editions of this very show. And I pray that this very one today, God Almighty will communicate his counsel. It will help us that are discussing this, you know, the life of David to learn and everyone hearing and listening to us 
will also learn Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We subject our minds, our thoughts, our imagination, our desires, our emotions to the Holy Spirit to take control to lead us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let our hearts be open. Lord, communicate your counsel mm. to us in the name of Jesus. We come against every distraction. We come against wandering minds. We come against fragmented spirits. We hold them to the obedience of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. bless us to the soul. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. Amen. Yes. Um, um, last topic we had was the life of Stephen. And we learned so much from the life of Stephen. Um, and today we are looking at the life of um, David. Like I told um, our host, mm -hmm. that this is a very vast topic. Very, very vast. Yes, sir. The life of David is very, very vast. And um, there are some things in some, some um, uh, summary that I want to pinpoint. Number one, David was a prophet, like you mentioned. From the Psalms, you will see that, you know, most of the Psalms were prophetic. Yes, like sir. where he was, was talking about the coming of Jesus Christ, prophesying about Jesus, David said that, and the Lord said to my Lord that you should sit here and I will make your enemies your footstool. Those were prophetic foresight, for prophetic insight. Um, number two, David was a king. We saw David being anointed as king over Judah in 2 Samuel chapter 2. We saw David being anointed as king over Israel in 2 Samuel chapter 5. And the first endorsement of an anointing, when David was nobody still in the backside of the desert, Catering for the ship of his father in um, uh, First Samuel chapter sixteen and verse thirteen, we saw Samuel came and did what and anointed him in First Samuel chapter sixteen. He anointed him to be king. But do you know something from my observation and my studies? The moment Saul misbehaved in First Samuel chapter fifteen. Chapter 15, verse 3, God gave him instruction, go and kill the Amalekites, go and destroy everybody, and he spared King Saul, and he spared the, I mean, he spared King Ida, and the lamb, and the ram, and everything, a complete obedience. The next chapter, which is chapter 16, we saw God sending David. What that tells me is that in God's kingdom, there is no vacuum. Yes, sir. God does not permit vacuum. So if you consider yourself to be too anointed, you think you are you are indispensable. You can only be such where man is consigned, but not where God is consigned. So one man, God, has millions of replacements. The moment he misbehaves in chapter 15, Chapter 16, we saw God sending Samuel to go and anoint David. Despite the fact that even that the fact that David was not really, you know, um, 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 matured enough, but God made the oil to rest on him, the oil of kingship. When the other man of God in the days of, is it Elijah or Elisha, was saying that, oh, I am the only one left. David, and God said to him, come and shut up. Elijah. Elijah, he said, I have, I have 7,000 that have not compromised, remnants that is there. So we are not, nobody is indispensable in the work of God. That yes, is sir. one thing, you know, God just, you know, opened my eyes. That the, the, the soul misbehaved and immediately there was a replacement. Another thing that I saw in the life of David was the humility of David, sir. Yes, sir. The humility of David. David was a humble man. Because when you look at what Saul did in chapter 15, and, you know, Samuel came to him and said, ah, ah, what is all this that you have done? The next thing he said, oh, is it that one that you are hearing the bleating of the ram? He said, oh, I have preserved it so that we can use it for a sacrifice. 
But somebody told him that that is not what God demanded of you. The next thing he shifted blame. You say, if our work must be seek good before God, we must accept responsibility. God knows that you and I, we are frail. God knows that we are weak. So there are instances that we will miss the mark. But when you miss the mark, we come to God in truthfulness and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Like a case of a senior pastor was reported to me. And, you know, I said that all this man needs is for him to go to God to say, God, I am sorry. I am ready to walk with you with the whole of my heart. And God will just, the blood is there, will just wipe it off and then the work continues. But you keep on, you keep on doing like this. You don't do that with God. You accept responsibility. You accept your praises. You accept your witnesses. You accept that you have missed it. But Saul, instead of accepting that, Saul shifted it to the people. And Samuel said, see, the kingdom has been torn away from your hand. But now let us come down to David. When David misbehaved, in 1 Samuel chapter, uh, you know, in, um, um, you know, where David misbehaved with Bathsheba. Yes. In 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 7. You know, we saw it there now. When Nathan came to David and told David, there is a man in your kingdom, a poor man, he has only one ram. And there is a rich man that has 99, you know. And, <laughs> and he, he told him all those things. At the end of the day, David said, who is that? In my kingdom, bring him. I will kill him. And Nathan was looking at him. And the next thing, Nathan told him that you are the one. Mm. You are the king. You have the privilege to marry any woman. But only one wife of a, your, your subject, you had to do that. The Bible said that's fact that he was wearing a kingly robe. He poured it. He sat on the dust. And I think that was what informed Psalms like Psalm 51 and verse 17. It says that the sacrifices of the Lord is a broken and a contrite heart. Okay. It says such God will not despise. Mm. Uh, God will not despise. So we saw the humility of David here. Another thing that I saw in the life of David that is worthy of emulation is wisdom. Mm. It's wisdom. It's wisdom. Now, let's start from when David, as a young boy, was anointed king. David concealed it. David did not go about bragging that, ah, I have collected the oil of kingship. We never saw that in the scripture. David was still taking care of the sheep of his father. Remember, in, um, uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, during the confrontation <coughs> with, bless you, sir, during Thank the you. confrontation with what? With um, um, uh, Goliath. David was called from sheep, from the sheepfold, where he was walking. Oh, yeah, come and take food to your brother. Meanwhile, he was already anointed in chapter 16. Mm. He was already anointed. He, did, he was still doing the normal thing. That is the problem. Some of us, the moment we are promoted, God say your heart become enlarged and you've forgotten where I've carried you from. David never forgot where he, yes, he, he was coming from. We must not forget where God lifts us up from. We must only, the thing that sustains a man in his lifting is staying humble. Mm, yes, sir. Uh, you remember where God picked you up from. David said something to um, uh, the wife of, um, uh, to his wife. When she mocked him, he said how the king messed up himself in his royal garment and was rolling on the floor. She, he told her, he said that, ah, who am I? I was picked from nowhere. But the thing is that God saw your father. He left your father's soul and decided to make me king. He said, if need be, I will yet abase myself. Mm. That was his language. So this one where I rubbish myself, in your eyes, you consider it rubbish. It's nothing compared to the next level of rubbish, if you consider that rubbish that I will do before my God. He said, because I was nobody when he picked me up and made me to be king. So um, we saw in First Samuel chapter 18 and verse 5. Oh, I love it very much. He says that, and David, after killing Goliath, the Bible says, and David behaved himself wisely. Mm. 
Yes, verse 14. The Bible says, and David behaved himself wisely before the king. Verse 15. And Saul took note that David behaved himself wisely. And the Bible says, and Saul was afraid of him. Hmm. Yes, so wisdom is a key. Wisdom is, is, is a weapon that knocks the enemy hands down. So when I see men that cannot humble themselves to say, I am sorry, they lack wisdom. Yes, sir. So they lack wisdom. Uh, if you want to go far, um, um, Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6, the Bible says that, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. So one of the things that made David to conquer God, um, um, Saul was wisdom. Yes, sir. Unusual wisdom. The, the man we call Stephen that we talked about in the last, our last episode, we saw that one of his key was wisdom. He was a man full of wisdom. Mm. Even Jesus Christ, the Bible says that he was full of wisdom. Yes, and so we need wisdom. It's very critical. It's not only wisdom that will make you begin to raise shoulder to somebody that gives you food to eat. <laughs> yes, sir. Me, I, 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 me, my wife will tell you, Say, uh, this man, I don't understand this kind of man. I will go on my knees. I will go on my knees to tell you that, oh, you are my boss. You know, I am benefiting from you. You have an edge over me. Age, notwithstanding. Grace is beyond age. Of course. We can be of them same age and a man has grace. The moment I recognize that grace and I know that I need that very grace in my life, oh, I bend down. I used to tell people, if these things are two cups of, I mean, two glasses, and one is filled with water and the other one is empty, it is only wisdom that you need to go down so that the one that is filled can so, pour into you. But yes, if so. you stay together like this, he cannot pour into you. He cannot. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the young man was a man of wisdom. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, I took that in his life. Another thing, you know, just to round up, you know, another thing that I noticed about the man's life was that the man was the man that will always inquire of God about any step he wants to take. You know, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, it says that, you know, we should um, uh, we should not depend on ourselves. We yeah. should look up to God and God Almighty will direct us and give us, you know, what to do. He will always inquire. In First Samuel 23 and verse 2, the Bible says, And David inquired of the Lord, should I go? In First Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8, he says, Shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? Will I overcome? Will I recover? And if God has told him, don't go, David would have stayed back. Because, you know, eh, babe, eh, a young man of God said something that I heard this today, and the thing touched me. A man, they were building a church. Apostle Edu, that is the name of the young man. That is why I said there are still rem remnants that are after this God. Those are the kind of people I listen to. Those are the kind of people I want to befriend. A man called him and told him that, oh, I noticed that you are building. And um, uh, he now said, next week I'm sending you one billion naira. Hmm. Oh, and he said that subsequently I will be sending you two, 200 million. Wow. And he rejoiced with his team and they celebrated it. The moment he entered his office, the Lord said, did I send anybody to you? Hmm. And his heart failed. And the instruction and the word came again. He said, I am not in that one billion. Immediately he came out and told his, his team that God said that that money we should not receive it. And that was how he left the money. And I now was discussing with somebody, counseling somebody. I said, See, when God gives you such instruction, you understand, you either receive the money and you lose his presence, or you reject the money and you retain his presence. And the presence of God can give you billions, not just one million. 
So which one do you go for? Was so that not the was that, that sorry to cut you short, man of God? That was the that was what happened between Balaam and Balak. You remember the story? That is it in Numbers 22. Yes, sir. Understand? So um uh, we 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 have to inquire, not because they want to offer you, because some gifts are that dead trap, some gifts are destruction. You understand? It might look good, but you don't know that it has carried a life sentence. Some job, God, job opening can come in. Empire of God. Should I go? It came with a hundred thousand naira raise above what you are collecting. What you are collecting maybe is thirty five thousand, but there is peace. You are not open up to various attack, and then you go for the one that is a million naira higher. You lose your peace. You lose your salvation. And so that is why we need to inquire like David. At every strategic step that we take, we need to inquire like David. And then, as I round up on the life of David, David was a man of prayers. Mm. God yes, punched prayers in a such Bible, and you see dimensions of prayers. Like he said in Psalm 65 and verse 2, he said, Unto him that answered prayer shall all flesh come. So he was always coming to God. I saw in Psalm 55 and verse 17 that in the morning, in the noon day, and in the evening, I will pray. So three times a day, David was praying unto God. And then another thing that I saw about David was that he was a praiser. And I think that was what earned him that title, the man after God's heart. You understand? Yes, so sir. in Acts 13 and verse 22, you will see there in 1 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 14, he said, this is a man after my heart. He was a praiser. As the Bible captures in uh, Psalm 55 that he prays three times, another place it captures in Psalm, you know, towards the end, he said, and seven times a day will I praise my God. You understand? Yes. Uh, David was a praiser. David was a worshiper. You know, that is one of the young men that I want to see when I get to heaven. Amen. You know, all, yeah. these, people, all, the, all these people, where they die, they go come back. <laughs> one of them said that he saw, he saw, he saw when the angel was taking him round. He saw one young man with handkerchief was just dancing. And he asked, who is, no, the angel asked him, do you know who is that? He said, no. He said, that is David. I said, I want to see that. If it is true. <laughs> You understand? So, you know, but in other words, what he's just trying to say is that David, you know, was, you know, a praiser, a praiser, a praiser. He was a prophet, he was a king, he was a priest. And I think nobody had that title apart from Jesus Christ. He was a prophet, was a priest, and he was a king. I think it's only Jesus in the Bible that had that very title. Jesus was a prophet, Jesus was a king, and Jesus was a priest. So, um, no, uh, hold on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I didn't take note of that, but priest, yeah. priesthood, David was not a priest. He was. He actually acted. So, uh, there was a time out of, out of uh, necessity, he yeah. played the role of a priest yeah. out of ne for necessity's sake. Uh, during when he was running away, at yeah, least being yeah. chased by by Saul, uh, yeah. sort of. Okay, he performed that. Who that, can? Who can, yes, who can? That validates the priestly oil upon his head. Okay, because I it's think, only the priest uh, that can go into the into the temple and take his true bread. Yeah, for him you not know, to be God, slain. Yeah, for him yeah, not to be slain. That that, that could have been God. That that meant that uh, God accepted him as a priest. Right. Yeah. Okay, I that's think right. I agree yeah. with you. I agree yeah. with you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, those are the positive things, you know. I mean, you can also, you know. Yeah, honestly, honestly, man of God, you have, yeah. you, know, you like I said, you really showed, you really, you really um, showed justice um, to mm. this topic. You've said it all, all the qualities, and um, mm. and yeah, I, I don't, I really can find probably all the things that I, I know. You, it may took, it means that. Um, you you took your time you know i told you i've told you one time that i sometimes four five or six years ago i actually i already started compiling all the notes the key points mm -hmm. I, I wanted to write a book about david actually is my favorite 
man in the Bible. Yes, he's my favorite man because um there are I I he is I am not I'm not I'm not close to being him, but there are some little so a part of him that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. I have we have similarities uh but whatever. Yeah. So I have so much so much regard and honor for him and that makes mm. him my best of of the among all the prophets of the Bible. Mm. Uh, sort mm -hmm. of so and uh, because of that actually was supposed to i wanted to write a book about him and i've done some okay. stuff um written some uh scripts about him and but just to compile them whatever all of a sudden um now mm -hmm. this issue where are they where this issue of spirituality that uh i i i got you, entangled you, in worldly stuff and the word i just put it aside you, you, sort of. you, you will be revived back. so I, I, honestly i need god's grace for that now i one other thing you have said it all humility actually this one really falls into humility but i i consider that as someone that is patient he has that virtue yeah. of patience mm. in him mm. virtue of tolerance and patience mm. in him remember what that his 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 general, the regional commanding officer, is it Abna or whatever that was his name? Okay, his Abna. Name. Yeah, Abna. Yes, he was a very strong officer, and the, and that that strong that that uh, vigor and that um, heroic nature, that masculine mm. nature, got mm. over his head. Um, mm. That there was a time, there were some times he misbehaved. A kind of um, mm. he took laws into his hands that he misbehaved that on uh, under every other king if he had behaved mm. like that to any other king other than david he would have been like, slain. he would have been executed like so, yes like so. Up. so he would have been he, he he could have been executed but david tolerated his excesses mm. a sort of that was then and uh, i remember when he was handing over the whole thing to um mantle of leadership to solomon he literally mm. handed over dabna because he didn't forget all those recklessness of Abner, mm -hmm. he did not mm -hmm. forget it. He it was that that was that's to tell you that he felt really bad. But because of mm -hmm. who he is, his tolerant mm -hmm. and patient nature, his humble nature, mm -hmm. he just didn't mm -hmm. want to do anything to him or so. But he mm -hmm. eventually handed him to Solomon for Solomon to decide on what to do with him. To do with him sort yeah. of. And the same thing, he exhibited the same virtue when Shime. You remember Shime? I don't know if you if that name rings a bell. He actually mm. he 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 was a non-entity. He's not non that's the old that's the only place he was mentioned in the Bible. A Shimei, or that okay. is one when he was running from from Saul, running away okay. from Saul, and okay. uh, he met this Shimei, this man called Shimei, who rained a whole lot of curses, curses on him because Shimei then did a part of Israel, most part of Israel don't believe that um, because of what happened with uh, Be Beersheba. They believe that mm. he was a sinner, he was a dirty person or whatever. So they believe mm -hmm. when Saul was chasing him all around, they just concluded, mm. everybody just judged him as, as someone being punished for his the sins he committed, mm -hmm. the crimes he committed, all those stuff, whatever. So this Shime um, came in contact with him. You can imagine a whole king, and in the presence of all his soldiers, Abner was leading his soldiers or whatever, this mm. Shime pounce on verbally pounce on the king king david and really a whole lot of curses on him or whatever even abner wanted to slay him just slaughter him or whatever because of course that usually that's what mm -hmm. the, um mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, david, yeah, yeah, david yeah. rebuked him and uh, asked him to ask them to just mm -hmm. leave him let him go that in fact that is the humility you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he too he assumed that he was being punished for his sin, oh, the sin of the Sheba. So he said they shouldn't so talk, they shouldn't, yeah. He it as a reproach. Correct, correct. Yeah. So he said, please don't touch him or whatever. That he, he just, oh. he didn't say that, but he just, as he just said it that what yeah. this man is saying is actually the truth. I'm actually, I'm actually facing my punishment, punishment for oh. what I did. So don't oh. even touch him. So he just, he just oh. allowed him to go. So um, oh. David, honestly, he's a man, he's a man that is, that, inspired me so greatly i see so many things just now, like look you, at, you look, yeah. um yeah like look at look at the aspect of the opportunity to kill your yes enemy. sir yes sir yes sir so i used to wonder i said what kind of a man is that yeah that is the point he, he's got all the powers you can imagine That's a king right. 
you there are so many areas he, he exhibited acts of acts of a, a common man not a king you can imagine a king dancing in the public you know mm. that's not that kind of thing to the extent that the mm. wife had to even look him view him with disdain or whatever mm. dancing in the public that is the humility the mm. humility to man to God first, he was this mm -hmm. issue of dance was humility to God. He was mm -hmm. so humble that he was doing all these things, he didn't even take note of his subjects. Himself and himself. He was, he was blind, yes, he blind to his yeah. subjects, blind to the mm -hmm. office of the king. Mm -hmm. Completely. Right. Sort of, yes, exactly. So that man was so 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 humble. A sort of another and, another dimension of wisdom. Yes, sir. That was given to him. That, that, that I don't know where he learned it from. That the man that is after your life, mm. you saw him instead of you to pierce a dagger and kill him. Even yes, the sir. subject said, let us kill him. He mm. said, no, who am I to lay my hands yes, on sir. the Lord's hand? Yes, sir. He did not, he, David, as much as God has rejected Saul from being king, David still revived that oil. Yeah, that correct, oil. that is it. Ah, say, who am I? No, to touch, am I? To touch you, God, God, God's anointed. Yes, of course. Let me leave him with his God. I'm yes, not sir. the one that will kill him. No, that he was... Um, uh, you see, that is why, you know, I had to I had to just look at this. You know, David, that son of David, um, uh, that son of Jesus, have mercy upon me. David, that son of Jesus, um, uh, have mercy upon me. But do you know there is something that I just saw here? You know, I said, let me just read it. Let me just read it. You know, um, in the final introduction of Jesus, yes, sir. Uh, Jesus said something. You know, uh -huh. he said in um, Revelation twenty-two and verse sixteen, "I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches." I am the root and the offspring of David. Mm. Final introduction. And the bright and the morning star. So I am the root and the offspring of David. So even at the final introduction, Jesus still linked himself to the root of David. Yes, sir. Not just about people saying it to, um, uh, in Mark chapter 10, you know, um, uh, verse 40 downward, Jesus, Baron Bartimaeus cried out, Jesus, that son of David, have mercy upon me. Oh, the blind man in mm. Matthew chapter 9. Oh, Jesus, that son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus with his own mouth in the final book of the Bible, Revelation 22, the last chapter, Jesus saying here, he said, I am the root and the offspring of David. That is very powerful. And so, do you know something? You know, in 1996, Jerusalem celebrated the 3,000 years after David named it the city of David. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 3,000 years ago, one thing that a man that was after God's heart did is still being celebrated 3,000 years ago. Mm. Older than even Jesus, the coming of Jesus. Yes, sir. They celebrated when, you know, when he moved Jerusalem, you know, the capital of Jerusalem and renamed it the city of David. Yeah. In 1996, they celebrated the 3,000 years after David named Jerusalem the city of David. Mm. And so, because of the heart of the man towards God, God has immortalized the name of that man. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. That is why, you know, when they were coming and they want to anoint, they want to anoint, God said, my heart, my eyes sees beyond what man sees. He said, I look at the heart. Man look at the, the you know, man look at, man will always look at, you know, the, what do you call it? The physical. But God will always look at the heart, you know. Um, uh, you, you, that one is captured, you know, in mm -hmm. First Samuel chapter 16 and verse 7. You understand? No, a man that acts, a man that his heart is after God. God sees the heart yes, of the sir. man. 
God sees the heart of the man. He said, no, I don't look at how men look at him. I look at the heart. And God saw the heart. And God knows that this one that I've been trained. Another thing, you know, you talk about patience. Yes, sir. David truly was a very patient man. Mm -hmm. Because in spite of the oil, and it takes patience for you to be trained, to go through process by God. Mm -hmm. It takes yeah. patience. Mm. He said, let us follow faith. Let us follow those. I think that is Hebrews chapter 12, if I'm not mistaken. He said, let us follow those that through faith and patience obtain the promise. Mm. The man was in the days that God was building him, mm. training him how he will take care of administration in the palace. The man was in the days that God was training him how he will kill the enemy of God. That is Goliath. And God, first, first of all, trained him how to kill the deer and how to kill, you know, a lion. God taught him how to lay his life down. This, this was a type, a type of Jesus. Mm. Because he came and laid his life down for the sheep. We saw David lay his life down for the sheep fold. You know, he said, a, <clears throat> a bear came and took my lamb and I killed the bear and rescued. A, a lion came. I killed it and rescued. That was a type of Jesus Christ. Because yes, Luke, Luke says that, for he came to seek and to save that which is lost. Mm. Luke chapter 19 and verse 10, if I'm not mistaken here, you know, or 10, 19, I, you know, one talk about power and one talk about he coming to save and to save, you know, and preserve that. That was what David was doing now. You know, if you, if you cannot wait on God, you cannot be trained. Yes, sir. And if you are not trained, you cannot carry the capacity not for the all. glory he wants to of course. So David was already trained, and then that very glory was, he had the capacity to carry the glory. And that is why he could operate in those three offices. And that is why even in when he took over the throne, he did not go revenging after the life of yes. the yes. No, he did not. He even said that if there is anybody that is left in the house of Saul, he didn't mm. stay in the house of Jonathan. He said, in the house of Saul. Yes. That I will show him mercy. First, second Kings chapter 9. That I will show him mercy, loving kindness. So the man had a large heart. The man had a great heart. And, and another thing is another virtue. In fact, the man seemed to, ex to, seem to have exhibited virtually all the virtues. All the virtues you can talk about, you can think about. Mm. And another virtue I just remember he exhibited is virtue of loyalty. God bless you, sir. Loyalty. God bless you. Loyalty. Yes. He, he and it's lacking in the body. Yes. That, that loyalty, that is what a, that is where, where most human beings fail. Loyalty. 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 Even and... Yeah, honestly, it's and in every to, to in every fall. relationship, honestly, yeah. I don't, I don't, I, 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 what I cherish loyalty more than love. Let me be frank with you. I, I rather yeah. you, I rather, I rather you give me loyalty than give me love, because love. Can I can I, can I say something? Yes, sir. I, I need to validate this statement. Yes, go ahead. It sir. was love that betrayed Jesus. Correct. In the absence of Correct. Him. That is it. That kiss was a kiss of love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But beneath it was a betrayal. Correct. Betrayal. Yeah, that is it. Mm. So why I value loyalty more better than love? You see, anything that has to do with the heart does with mm. goes with emotions. But mm. anything that has to do with the mind goes with loyalty. Or it goes with principles. I rather I rather you give me your loyalty than you love me because love will always always yeah, can compromise. Yeah, it will betray you. That does the truth. Anything that has to do with emotion, if it will be when there is a pressure, when pressure comes up, the, that emotion will die, and that is where loyalty comes to play. Mm. And that is what is affecting. So this lack of loyalty is what is affecting so many marriages. Because marriages, mm -hmm. marriages need loyalty to survive, not love. I keep telling people this. Yeah, yeah. 
I have done my research on that. You know, we've talked about commitment. We've talked about, we've talked about that, yes. And yeah. that's just the trust. The, that's the mistake yeah. so many people don't say love is the one that keeps marriage. Love is one. Mm. That is the that is the lie of the devil. I keep telling you, mm. love is good. There's no doubt about that. It's interesting. Mm. But mm. honestly, what keeps marriage is loyalty. It's what loyalty. keeps any relationship is mm. loyalty because loyalty is the one that will make you look away from other people's weaknesses. And it, defend it, them. It will, it will make you blind. It will keep you blind to weaknesses. And defend them. And de fight for them. And defend them. So, yeah. and that is what we did. Well, that is what we noticed. What I noticed also in the life of David. Loyalty. Because yeah, when loyal. loyalty, because he was loyal, not just to God. He was, was loyal, loyal to, to the, people around. To him. People God. who did well, who did good to him. He reciprocated in lawyer mm -hmm. under, under normal circumstances. Mm -hmm. Other people, the moment uh, Jonathan, all the things that Jonathan did to him or whatever, yeah, did for he him. Would just, and, uh, he would just, he already died. We just, we just consider mm -hmm. this man already died. And, died. Uh, and when you look at <laughs> Mephibosheth himself, he's not yes. worthy to speak in his presence. That is the point. But he said, he will eat on this loyalty that is it. until the day he dies. Yes, sir. That is the loyalty. Mm -hmm. He remembered loyalty. what Jonathan he was loyal to his did. Yes. Time. Look at what Jonathan loyalty. did and paid the, the son of Jonathan back. Eh? Mm. So loyalty is very, very important. Honestly, and honestly, the life of David is just the life of it's it's an epitome of the life. Um okay, Jesus is actually the epitome of it, but at the mm. same time, um uh, before the old before the new covenant was ushered in. Honestly, David was the, the, the life, his life mirrored. That was, that is the reason why Jesus, God did not make mistake for him to, for Jesus to come through his, through his the, lineage. through, through his lineage, a sort of. So that, 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 that is why God, he's the only one God you mentioned, used that phrase, a man after my own heart, after my heart. Not even Moses, not even the father of faith, Abraham. Abraham. Eh? That is the only to tell you where how much David touched God, mm. touched his heart. Mm. For him to recognize him as a man after my after heart. Him. That is the man who really served God in all in all totality. He served God in all totality. He gave him in, in difficult times, he's talk with God. In the times of punish and chastisement, he's talk with God. Wow. Something I just remembered something. When yeah. he was just wishing to drink the water from the garrison of the people. Yes, sir. That is another and one. Men, Correct. And men have zapped their life. Yeah. To go and bring water. Well, I'm said, telling no, you, so I said, why who am I? Your boss. This is the blood of men. Yes, sir. That this cannot come to me. I offer it unto God. That is it. No, David was an unusual man. It, he was, he was, honestly. That's why the man is an inspiration to me. I consider him as the mm. best. Outside, mm. outside. So, you know, yeah, you said something that, you know, before the new covenant. But let, let me look at it from this very perspective now. Yes. From this very view. You understand? Yes, you said he is an epitome. But you now change that Jesus is actually the epitome. Yes. Now, let us separate it. Jesus had what we call the hypostatic union. He was 100% God. And he was okay, yeah, man. of course, yeah. And so, course. when we want to look at a man that we can mirror, you understand? Yes, sir. Now we remove Jesus Christ because of the God factor in him, and mm. we want to look at a man that we can mirror. I think David qualifies for that man. Yeah, you're right. That Absolutely, I think I agree with you. Yes, I agree with yeah. you on that because uh, David has a lot. He's just covered. He's, I don't think there's anyone that can that. The, the only thing he did was this issue of, okay, I think the sin he committed, this issue of Beshebak's sin, and this issue of when he was, was not supposed to, he disobeyed God by numbering his soldiers. Numbering. Uh, yes, numbering the citizens, or uh, Israeli citizens, or whatever. So that is the tribe, yeah, tri tribes, of Judah, him, tribes, God, tribes of Israel. Rather. Sorry? God, what God demands of God is that when these things are pointed out to you, how do you respond? How do you react? Yes, sir. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Mm. That is what God is after. That will make mistakes. I yeah. mean, definitely will make mistakes. Yeah. We'll miss the mark. 
But when it is pointed out to you, how do you react? Mm. That is what God is after. That is the heart that God is after. Yes, and some people will just excuse it and just say, I beg you, nothing. No. So that is the heart that David has. Yes, sir. You know. Honestly, that man. Will and there it. is a way that David will praise God. And, and you know, somebody say, David knows how to bribe God. <laughs> mm. He knows what to give to God. He gives God what God cannot give to himself. Yeah. He's the one that told us that before I even enter the gate, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. He opens it up. That is where the Yoruba got that idea. You understand? Yes, sir. If you want to bring, if you want to bring the king from the inner court, mm. what they do, they come into the court, into the outside, and begin to play that their gong gong, begin to praise the king, praise the king, and the king will be in the inner court and come and say, ah ah, who is this? He will draw the, that will draw his attention into the outer court to see who is that. It's from there the Yorubas learn that thing. David said, I will come into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. praise. And God will say, ah, ah, who is there? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go and check. You know? So that uh, is David for you. Right? I, I, I'm an unusual. That, you know, sometimes I want, to, I, want to, I want to ask a question. Where did they get that inspiration from? Mm. Some of them that did something that did not have a tutor. Maybe they didn't have a father that handled yes. it. Yes. So how did they come about those things? Those things are missing me because David was a small boy. Yes, sir. Yeah, David started this thing as a very small boy, you know? So there is a lot for us to learn from the life of that. Yes, sir. Man. Another yeah. thing that just came to my mind is yeah. David was a man of compassion. Um, Remember when the Ark of the Covenant was being conveyed, carried from the uh, Philippines, for the Philistines, mm -hmm. when it was mm -hmm. delivered from the Philistines, mm -hmm. and the Ark of the Covenant, people, um, uh, Obedid is it, no, Obedidom, yeah, they were, they took it to the house of Obedidom. But Obedidom. Um, mm -hmm. who was this guy? I forgot this guy's name. Um, yeah, Uza, Uza, Uzai, Uzai. Uh, Uza, uh -huh. Uza, Uza, Uza. 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 Yeah, so Uza was the one, the ark, the ark was, uh, I think he violated the rule, um, the law then, and the ark just killed him. <laughs> Honestly, you see, um, if, you, if you understand the life of kingship, royalty, kings don't treat subjects as Fellow, most, some of most of those kings, especially those they just treat subjects as servants, like slaves. slaves. Yeah. In the in the case of David, David was not like that. He was that he was humble and compassionate. Mm. He treated everybody almost equally. And that was why when Uzzah, when God slew Uzzah, he felt it was it was it wasn't he just it, it was so he felt bad, and he was afraid. He became afraid, yes. He felt bad. The Bible recorded that first and foremost, he felt bad. And fear, the next thing, fear engulfed him. Mm. Engulfed him. So um, he is a man of compassion who consider his subjects, who actually have mm. um, regard for his subjects. He treated mm. his subjects very, very nicely, mm. very humanely. Mm. Um, a sort of, and he was a man of control. He controlled mm. his temper. He controlled everything. Remember when this king? I forgot the name of this king. That was how they that this woman Abigail was was the the was the the you know the Abigail the wife eventually married Abigail was mm. the the wife of no not a king sorry a rich man mm. the wife of the wife of a rich man. Um, I remember when he was running away from um, from Saul, they were hungry, a sort of. So he, as a king, in the capacity of a king, Nabal. actually said, "Yeah, Nabal. sorry, Nabal, Nabal, Nabal. 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 correct." Okay. In, the, on the, in the capacity of a king, sent his servants to go get some food from Nabal, and Nabal rebuffed him and even insulted him. Join a sort of, and. Of course, the king, uh, he, he, a warrior, he just gathered his soldier. Okay, we are going to kill, destroy this man and fight him and 
destroy him and take this thing by force. Take, take the so-called food by force. So mm. the wife, a very noble and virtuous right. wife, That's right. who knows, who probably, because everybody, including the Naba, everybody have, they know, David was oh, a very God. popular king. They know, yeah. they knew, they know him to be a, a warrior. The even if not the strongest warrior. The know was a, a national news. Correct. That is and, it. So uh, you can imagine that. So the wife knew what was what was going to befall them. Ooh. She knew that that's another thing. That is one thing about I should talk about women. Women, Ooh. women, you are so important in the life of your husband. That's right. That's right. Look, I, I always tell people so I say, let me tell you the, 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 you see, making a marine of a home is dependent on a woman. Very true, because the man is always in the field. Yeah. Yes, that was the truth. And that is why I always consider women as the owner, as the director of the home. The man is mm. in charge of a seer, whom you, the woman reports to, just like the chairman of a company, mm -hmm. of a board. Mm -hmm. That is the overall boss. A sort of, but it's not in active, it's not always on the board meeting. Oh, sorry, it, it's not always in the office. You only attend the mm. board. It's only present when the board meeting is, is mm. scheduled, is, is mm. summoned. It, it comes mm. in on, at the board meeting to cheer the board, the board. That is what happens between a woman and the husband. The husband is the mm. board, is the chairman. Why the woman, the, 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 the wife, let's say, maybe consider her like a, the CEO of the home mm -hmm. that is answerable to the board chairman. And that is just it. So, and that is what Abigail did in the life of Naba. And that saved a lot of things because this yeah. same Abigail rushed with all this food and rushed and just um, a kind of circumvented David's action. David's and reaction, she, rather. Yeah, she actually said something that, please, as his name is, so easy. Yeah, that is it. That, that is it. So, mm -hmm. and, that was, and that is what that is why David eventually because David saw the virtue in her mm -hmm. when Naba mm -hmm. eventually died because now Naba eventually died uh, 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 for uh, from uh, um, a, a natural cause. A sort of mm -hmm. David had to send for uh, Abigail to come and marry because, of course, who no go marry he that kind of something? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. He saw that so, virtue. He said, my God, this woman must be a, a wife indeed. I can't miss this opportunity. And that's how he became, the, Abigail became his wife. And it is, mm. I, think, I think it is through Abigail. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the children of Abigail. No, okay. Okay, no. Okay, no, that, that that's not okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's just. I think um, mm -hmm. yeah, those are not his children. I thought um, Solomon Besheba. Okay, uh, Solomon came through Besheba. Yeah. 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 All right. So that is. I think that is just. That is that is just. So the man is mm -hmm. a man of, of um. Of compassion, and that is just mm -hmm. because um, under normal circumstances, other people, other king wouldn't even listen to her. They will just go, that's right, that's right. push they her, will. just push her aside and continue with them. Go, just yeah. destroy whatever. So he whatever. actually is a man that that is a compassionate man who listens to people's, um, he listens mm. to humanity. Let me yeah. use that word. So that is just yeah. it. Um, so um, honestly, David has so many, so much, so much, so much, so much. Anyway, um, viewers, you've had all that. Um, his weakness. His weakness is something nobody wants to always we don't want to emphasize on yeah. because um yeah, that is um a regrettable um um a regretful moment uh, a very bad moment in his life that really cost him so many embarrassments cost him so many pains a sort of uh, to the extent that his own his own son for God's sake maybe, maybe slept with his wife at, we, yeah maybe we, we maybe we should talk about the you know, we've talked about the strengths. Maybe we should look at this. The weakness, yeah, maybe, too. Yes, so that we can learn also because we have to draw, you know. Yeah, you are, go ahead, man of God. Of course, we can yeah. do that, a sort of. Yeah, so maybe we'll look at that next week, maybe. Maybe. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I think, I don't think he's, honestly, his strength seems to, that you can imagine how or, long. Or we have, shadow. Yeah, yeah, we have, he, he has a lot of strengths. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. 
innumerable yeah. strain. All it's down weak, down yes, his weak, his weakness is just minor. They yeah. are, they are major. They might be, it may be one or two, but they are actually major. No. But the thing is, uh, yeah, it's big, one big stop or whatever. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, honestly, his his virtues of far, far, far yeah. of, uh, yeah. outweighs. His, and that, and that is, and that is his, weakness, his weakness couldn't have taken us this half of the time we have spent yeah, in yeah, enumerating yeah. his strength. So, yeah. and that is just, I think his weakness is just basically uh, the Besheba sickness. Um, well, yeah. sorry, see, uh, sin. The sin yeah. of uh, Besheba, he committed, and he, 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 he added to the sin again of adultery to yeah. murder. Yeah. Uh, a sort of, and um, try to cover it up. And uh, mm. disobeying God by numbering Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, when he was not supposed to, and all that stuff or whatever. Anyway, I think that is just it. So basically, that is it. Yeah, mm. that is just it. That's mm -hmm. honestly it. So I don't think um, he has that much. The major one was just this show of Bathsheba. Mm. But again, this is the awesomeness of God. Mm. Bathsheba was a seed of adultery and murder. Yes. No, sorry, Solomon. Solomon. No, okay. hold on. No. Besheba okay. now. Okay. Besheba, of course. He she gave birth to Besheba was the was it was okay. Okay. She okay. was okay. yeah. She was yeah. a seed of adultery yeah. and murder. It was yeah. as a result of it was because of Besheba, uh Moses um David, sorry, David committed adultery mm -hmm. and committed murder. Yet this same seed eh, is the one, the seed God used to bring up Solomon, one of the, the richest king ever, or one of the greatest kings. That is just the, the awesomeness of God. But Bathsheba must have been a very beautiful woman. Uh, in fact, of <laughs> course. Yeah, <laughs> that's the point. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says that as no, but as you but, but you know, but you know now those days the, the kings were made to marry the best of the women. That when best. you saw her, yes, he, of course, you could not resist her fairness. That is it. And fairness in the Bible connotes beauty. Beauty, not yes, just God. not just skin color. Uh it connotes beauty. Another thing with weakness is this issue where, you know, where, where in the book of Job, where Job talked about disciplining his eyes, your eyes. Yeah, Job that, that, Job and, that, that and, and that is why when Jesus Christ said, if you look at a woman lustfully, you have committed that same, it's as good as you physically, literally. Laying with her. Yes. Because um, the eyes, that was exactly what happened. That's why the moment you see there are the first sight is always yeah. by mistake, but mm. the moment you look the second time, you um, have you sown that seed. Yeah, you have captured. You are captured. Yes, that is just that is just, so. Uh, we as believers, we should learn that, um, especially for those that are struggling with the spirit of lust, a mm. sort of um, God will will help all of us. In fact, the truth is, when it comes to the issue of lust. I think most men, most men or women, or including women, but men or whatever. It's, I think everybody, yeah. the only thing is that um women, those... women, you know, because they are so they are emotional, they, they can conceal their own. Yeah. Men, men, you know, you is it, acted out. You yes, will sir. just know. It's yes, just sir. the design, how we are. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Wow. Thank you so much, man of God. Honestly, mm. um, an interesting um, episode. Um, yeah. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed yourself. You, I hope you are inspired. I hope you are rebuked. I hope you are, uh, you are, you are, you are, you are corrected. I hope you feel you've, you be, you've received a revelation and inspiration. Um, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us once again today, man of God. Thank you so very much. Next week, we shall be taking, uh, if there is nothing, um, nothing um, impromptu comes up, um, mm -hmm. if I don't feel inspired with a different, um, a different uh, topic, okay. we shall be taking, talking on, we can, shall be taking on the life of Abraham. Um, mm -hmm. So we shall be talking about Abraham next week by his. That, by that, his that, is, that, is, that is another great one. Yeah, yeah, so um, so that is just if or if I don't do or yeah. say otherwise, please. Mm -hmm. Um, that is yeah. our next um our next okay. uh, uh, okay. discussion. 
Oh, well. so, uh, thank you so very much, man of God. Um, thank even you. as I as as I as I as I ask you to, um, round up this show with okay. a word of uh, um, uh, exhortation and encouragement, then um, mm -hmm. and prayer, please. Yeah. Oh, viewers, thank you. What a refreshing moment we have had in the presence of God, and I want to believe that God Almighty has spoken to myself to our host yes, sir. And, and, uh, you know, and to everyone outside you. And um, we have said so many things. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help us. Amen. Where we are lacking in the virtues we have come to discover in the light of the Holy mm. The virtue of, you know, patience, the virtue of wisdom, the virtue of, you know, of prayer, of praise, of worship, the virtue of, you know, loyalty, the virtue of, you know, um, um, uh, being a strong, you know, patient person. Mm. We ask that God Almighty will help us to imbibe these qualities Amen. to make our work with God a better work, a Amen. fruitful work in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray and I decree that somebody will give a testimony as Amen. a result of applying themselves to these very virtues in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. We saw the virtue of compassion there. That God Almighty will not make us hear us alone, but Amen. we shall be yes, doers of the world in the name of Jesus. Amen. Where we are struggling, we ask for grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. So you out there, you want to do the right thing, but something is struggling with you. May God grant you the grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let strength come upon your weakness in the name of Jesus. You that want to serve God, you want to be revived in your spirit. Oh God, let the spirit of revival come upon them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We talk about distraction. We decree that every power distracting your people, let that power be cut off in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Like Isaiah said, I've set my face as a flint and I shall look forward. May you help us to set ourselves on our face as a flint to look forward. Not to be distracted Man. by the things that are happening in the world. In yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Father, Amen. we ask that you meet everybody in the point of their need. The way things are going in the global economy. Lord, especially back home here in Nigeria. Lord, we ask that you will sustain your people. Amen. You will make a way for your people. Amen. You will open that desired door. Amen. You will answer them. You will position men yes, that will answer to their desire mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for that miracle. Thank you, Thank you for that financial breakthrough. Thank, Thank you for Jesus. that open door. Thank you for that healing. Thank, Thank you for Jesus. that restoration. Thank, Thank you Jesus. for that blessing Thank in the name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. The children will not cry any longer Amen. over this matter. That is a concern. Lord, you will visit them. Amen. Those that need to see the doctor, you will change their report. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those that want to go for surgery, Lord, go with them and let it be successful in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. No one will go to the open to the theater yes, and Lord. die in the theater. Let Amen. their lives be preserved in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, O God. Thank because you, Jesus. you have done it. We yes, cover Lord. the months, the week ahead of us with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Yes mighty name we have prayed amen amen, amen. amen. thank you so much uh, man of amen. god um our viewers we have had a good time with apostle indifreke imo um our our um unquantifiably special guest um a sort of so um, um <laughs> i hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, segment Please yeah. join us once again um, on this angle, Jibrin Angle on Oweleke TV. Once again, my name is Jibrin. And thank you for being with us. And uh, as we wish you um, happy Sunday, happy new week ahead of you. A blessed week indeed. Thank you. Yeah.